Are you looking for a true 1,000 horsepower capable turbo? We've got something for you. Everybody, welcome back. Here's another YouTube video for you guys. Today we're gonna to talk about a direct service replacement range of performance turbochargers, which a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a while, from the Turbo Direct stable. We've got many customers that call in and give us a breakdown of a project that they're busy with, and they have all sorts of expectations out of turbochargers, except for when they hear the price. Now, we carry all the genuine brands, we carry the ball bearing series from Garrett, we carry the journal bearing series from Garrett, uh, we carry the ball bearing series from EFR, which in my opinion is unmatched. Uh, we carry the journal bearing series from Borg Warner, which is in the form of your Airwork series, turbochargers, etc., etc. We do still, however, have customers that are looking for a little bit more affordability on a ball bearing turbocharger, Garrett style, and they don't have the 25, 30, 35, up to 50,000 Rand, I'm talking South African currency here, to pay for these turbochargers. So, We've been compelled by many guys to actually go and develop a range of affordable direct service replacement Garrett ball bearing turbochargers, which we've now gone and done. Well, if you guys go onto Alibaba and eBay and Amazon and wherever else you go to go and look for turbochargers and do online shopping, you will find a range of different Chinese turbochargers that are copies of Garrett, that are journal bearing and ball bearing, etc., etc. So they're a dime a dozen. You can go to the corner shop down the road and go and buy a cheap Chinese T3, T4 or whatever it is, uh, uh, um, a copy of a, a GT35 or a GT30 or whatever the case might be. But what are you really getting in comparison to what we're going to bring to the table today? So the biggest difference between what we do and what some of the wholesalers do on these uh, online shopping platforms is pretty much understand and know exactly what goes into a turbo, how they live, how they die, what is deemed a quality product or a component internally to the turbocharger. How do you know if it's good quality or not? Are you able to or do you have the knowledge to be able to check whether or not that component or complete turbocharger is in fact actually quality or not? So what we've basically gone and done is we've sourced the right components, top quality components, with specific manufacturing processes, specific tolerances and specific materials from the various suppliers around the world that don't all come from China. Some of the components do. Some of the cast components from China are good. Um, the ball bearing cartridges are not. When it comes to the electron beam welding, uh, the turbine head to the actual shaft, well, there are certain companies that are great at doing that. Uh, our journal bearing range, which we'll talk about in another video, will have a specific supplier that is known for homogeneous or as close to homogeneous equal density uh, materials that are extruded or forged or whatever the case might be that we use for certain internal components, whether they be bearings, whether they be thrust collars, whether they be uh, uh, back plates, etc. So the expertise and the knowledge we hold as TurboDirect has allowed us to understand exactly how your turbocharger lives and dies, what is good, what is bad, where are you able to source the correct components from around the world, bring them in, assemble, balance, and do the actual build of the turbocharger in-house. Today I'm going to talk to you about a GTX 3584R. It is not the, the same as the Garrett. It is not even specced anywhere near the same as the Garrett GTX 3584RS turbocharger. What we have here today is a culmination or a combination of a GT style turbine housing T3 inlet V-band outlet AR82 as well as an AR70 compressor housing 102 mil inlet and 63 out as well as a ball bearing bearing housing with a ball bearing cartridge that we have sourced specifically from a ball bearing manufacturer who knows how to manufacture these and has experience doing so. We've got your normal 10 blade style GT3582 turbine wheel with a few changes and we have coupled on the other side a 9 blade G series G35 1050. Slightly different dimensions, slightly different cutback angle but 
the basis of your nine blade point milled billet compressor, which we have chosen to forge. We have not used an extruded material that we've gone and just milled on a five axis machine. We have chosen a forged milled wheel and we've got a different root dimension designed into this compressor, which allows slightly larger blade area and the blade to obviously be manufactured lighter. So this ball bearing offering with an anti-surge housing as it stands here will also include a range of accessories which are standard in our opinion should be provided to you as the customer as standard equipment. Let's go through those now. So we've got a bullet aluminium oil return line that uses a male AN8 fitting and obviously the bolts to attach that to the bearing housing with your Allen cap screws. We've got a steel gasket which has basically got a gasket material on top and the bottom of it for your oil return, as well as a one millimeter restrictor, an inlet fitting with a one mil restrictor for the oil feed, as well as your two oil in and oil out fittings, all included with your copper nuts, copper washers, should I say. We've got an MLS gasket for the exhaust manifold. This is a three layer stainless steel gasket, which basically mounts your T3 inlet face to your manifold. And we've got your outlet V-band flange as well as the V-band clamp. So the design of this combination of compressor and turbine has been set up to be able to flow around about a thousand true horsepower as opposed to comparing it to the standard off-the-shelf G351050. We do not have the same blade area as the G351050 compressor. We've got slightly more. Uh, we do not believe that the 1050 is capable of producing 1050 horse. Uh, in actual fact, if you divide that by between 11 and 12, you'll get the true pound per minute of airflow, and it should marry up to more or less what you're seeing visually on the Garrett compressor map of the G35-1050. However, our product is slightly different, and we believe that if you're looking for a true 1,000 horsepower setup, this will meet your expectations. Hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Share some comments down below. Like, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.